Today I'm going to share with you my expansion plans. Hello, I'm Griff Reeves, welcome to Winning Griff Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, last week, you saw the new kit that's gone in the new honey house. And with any expansion plan, needs more bees in more areas, and you need the kit. So the kit is there. Last year, or was it the year before? The year before, we bought another honey farm over to increase our numbers now next year in 25 we're going to push another 100 odd colonies into a, a new area where we haven't got bees the bee truck is there but there's another van on the way as well which will massively help us uh, manage this expansion moving forward but we'll talk about that when that van comes now basically when you're planning on growing any kind of business you've got to look at an area and go well you know we want to expand into this so we want to expand into this region or that area or this country and it's no different where you're keeping bees and you're wanting to expand uh, your honey farm or your beekeeping business so we're pretty strong in Carmarthenshire not all of Carmarthenshire is covered uh, by our bees but we're pretty happy with where we are Cardigan, North Pems into Cardigan, we've got that area pretty covered well as well. Now there's one area where we haven't got a presence at all, and that is basically mid Pembrokeshire, and we've highlighted that's where we want to be. We want to be uh, along the A40 there, down between Carmarthen and Haverford West. We want to put uh, basically 100 colonies along that corridor, and uh, as you can see by the map, that links our sites up lovely into a little circle and that will make work a lot, lot more efficient where we can drive to Pembrokeshire up to Ceredigion maybe and then back down into Carmarthenshire should we need to. And that for me is a crucial area where we're not and uh, Gwyn and Griffith Honey Farm needs to have a strong presence there. So let's just slow it down there and bring bring this back up to to the start. Now, if you're not from Wales, you don't know uh, what I mean when I tell you these areas. So if you're outside of the UK, pull up a global map. The UK is there. That red dot is where we are, and we zoom in on that takes us to Wales, and that becomes a bit more clear. You can see where Wales is within the UK, and zoom in a bit more. You can see the red dot being our honey farm, the yellow dots being existing bee sites. And you can see the circle uh, which I was talking about to streamline the three uh, sites. So there's two, there's two areas at the minute, there's going to be a third area and they will link together like that. Now zoom in a little bit on the area where we want uh, to increase our bees, this this you'll be able to see a lot lot clearer, and it's within that square roughly we want to be. Now, why specifically this area? Well, like any kind of expansion plan or any kind of business wants to increase or move into new areas, you've got to work out a bit, bit of a plan and decide you know where you want to go. Now, I've highlighted this area for me. Basically, there's good transport routes there along the A40. That's the main road that goes all the way from London to Havford West, then up into Fishguard. So we've got a nice road, well, 60, 70 mile an hour road going into that area because we haven't got the 20 mile an hour limits. That's one problem I've got uh, since buying the bees and taking over a, a part of Ceredigion or Cardigan the new welsh government rules come in where a lot of the roads are now 20 mile an hour and that has made driving up there an absolute nightmare um but on along the a40 into pembrokeshire we're not going to have that issue and we don't really want to veer too much off the a40 as well because when we're driving around most of the time there's me and andy so there's two of us in the car we don't want to be spending all day driving around back lanes getting to different hard to get sites we want pretty 
decent access, fast access to uh, the new locations so we're not spent uh, a great deal of time driving around country lanes. That all that is nice and of course I enjoy it but when you're working and you're trying to do as many sites as you can in a day uh, you want to be spending your time on the bees uh, and not essentially driving. Now that part of between Carmarthenshire and Pembrokeshire isn't far from HQ. Um, every piece of uh, that highlighted map is within an hour of the honey farm. Um, a lot of it would be less than an hour, so it's very convenient for us to be able to go there. Now I've already mentioned about the crucial links. If I get a new uh, area or new sites located uh, in that part of Pembrokeshire, you know, slash Carmarthenshire, that opens up a lovely circular network uh, within what's called the Old Dived, so um, a little bit of Welsh history. We live in Carmarthenshire, there's Pembrokeshire and there's Cerdigion. Historically, when I was young, that used to be one county and that county was called Dived. So basically, we want to keep these across the whole of Dived. Now, there's similar forage uh, in Pembrokeshire as to what we've already got here. Uh, there's a little bit more arable crops in some places which uh, we would be keen to get to because we haven't got um, that kind of honey at all. Maybe we'd be able to jar that up under a different label uh, or even, you know, if there's oil seed rape in different areas, we can put the nukes there and, um, you know, maybe they can grow and develop uh, on the oil seed rape instead of feeding. So there may be uh, potential to work with arable crops there, which at the minute where we are, we haven't got that at all. And one key factor of why I want to go there is I want to build our profile up in Pembrokeshire. Now, I feel in Carmarthenshire we've got a good profile. Around uh, Cardigan, I think we've got a good profile. People see the bee truck driving around. There's honey in different shops up there. Uh, in Pembrokeshire, no one sees the truck. And, you know, basically, uh, if you've been following my videos for a while, you know that the, the truck was a, was a big plan in our business. Getting that sign written up is a, a driving billboard, basically. And that truck just by turning it into a billboard has helped my business out drastically. You would not believe how much um, putting stickers on that yellow pickup has helped my business. And uh, it's, it's unbelievable, really, the opportunities we've had of having that truck. And, um, you know, I want that truck to be driving around Pembrokeshire, people to see our brand, people to see our logo, and start getting people uh, used to Gwynne Griffith, honey, and, uh, you know, once we're in Pembrokeshire, it'll open up uh, possible opportunities to sell a lot more honey in that county as well. And when I say about selling honey, um, Pembrokeshire is a massive tourist hotspot. Thousands of people go there every year on their holidays throughout the year, not just within, within the summer months. You've got Bluestone, Oakwood, Folly Farm, Temby, Saundersfoot. You've got uh, the beaches along the, the National uh, Coastal Park there. It is a beautiful area. And I think there's a lot of opportunity there for us to sell Pembrokeshire honey, Welsh honey into that area. But to be able to do that efficiently and successfully, we need to have a lot more bees in Pembrokeshire. And that is why we're going to move um, a good hundred colonies there early this spring. Um, we've already, uh, behind the scenes, we've already agreed on two new sites outside of that area. Um, so that that's just come in off the back. So we, we've we've said yes to those two sites, and um, that's just going to be next on top of the hundred we're going to move into Pembrokeshire. Now, when it comes to sites, I'll be honest, we are pretty fussy. Uh, we've gone, I think we've gone and seen about five sites already this winter, and we've only accepted two of them. Um, there's a lot of factors that that need consideration, good access. Uh, the biggest one is, you know, you don't want bees by people. If bees are by people, people get stung and that causes a problem. And, you know, it's just between between people getting stung by bees and the access, those two things really have to be crucial. And not just that for us as a business, we've got to have sites not far from other sites. We don't want to drive, you know, 40 minutes one way to do one site. So we, we're looking at uh, an area of of say a county and we're going to try and put a lot of bees in that area that's that's the most efficient way of doing it um and, and that's what we've done luckily that the two sites that we just 
we did take on um they're in areas where we've already got bees and um it just made sense to expand there just by having the opportunity to do it now you may be wondering why are you sharing this information with us griff you know surely this is confidential uh, business information well i mean is it really i don't think it is we're going to be putting a post out on social media very soon uh, basically to a different audience uh, that you watching me on YouTube, you're all beekeepers. Uh, so I wanted to share this with you. So maybe in your area, maybe you're in Hereford or Scotland or Devon, wh wherever you are and you're thinking, well, you know, you can look at my plan, how, how I've worked out where I want to go. Maybe you can work out something similar uh, to where you are. You know, we talk a lot about beekeeping business on this channel. Um, I've tried to help a lot of you over the years and, and to, to share with you what I'm doing. So, you know, I didn't didn't see this a big deal sharing this information uh, with you at all. But basically, we're, we're going to put this out on, on our other socials account and we're going to try and get landowners to come to us rather than we go to them. Um, it's a lot, lot easier when you've got landowners wanting to put bees on land rather than you cold call in and uh, trying to negotiate something out. It's a lot, lot easier uh, when the landowner wants you there in the first place. So we're going to try that first. We're going to put put this uh, social media post out. We're going to try and get people interested, um, you know, get them, get them wanting to have bees on, on their land. And as things happen with your know, green credentials, having uh, honeybee colonies on the farms uh, is a big tick in the box. I know the milk buyers, they like to see, you know, the farmers putting bird boxes in, wildlife areas, uh, all that kind of stuff, and uh, putting beehives on their farm ticks that box from what I understand as well. So it could be a very good uh, mutual relationship. It doesn't have to be farmers. It could just be landowners, people with a bit of scrub land or land which they don't use, quarries, old areas which may be brown sites. It, it doesn't need to be farmland the bees will travel as you know three miles so it could be anywhere so that's the plan let me know is this a good plan do you think it's uh it's a good area for us to go into uh, if you know the area or you, or you don't uh let me know in the comments i'd love to to find out what you guys think see you in the next video